Hello, everybody. Happy St. Patty. Happy St. Patrick's Day, excuse me. I had an Irishman correct me. Don't say St. Patty's Day. You'll get your ass kicked. I don't want that. <coughs> I'm part Irish myself, and I don't even know what that means. But I did get something green. It's supposed to be a product of Italy. And it's supposed to be superior. So... But it's green, so uh, I fulfilled my obligation. I got a bottle of Chartreuse, so I was like, oh, should I go there? Oh, this is hard enough. Anyhow, got a big ice cube, which is crazy, because who wants a cold drink now? Ugh. And a little, little agua. It changes things, but a sparkling water. Ooh, ah. transcendent. Yeah, this is four days of just snow and more snow. Oh, nice. Okay. Now to my assignment. All right, I found this among the Mennonite tracks. It isn't too long. I'm still working on one in parts. Is your salvation on? Is it shaky or sure? Because, you know... Gotta find out that you're not wasting your time, right? Spend, get born into the wrong religion and have faith in it because you're supposed to. And then find out it was for nothing? That's just unthinkable. All right. Hmm. Is your salvation shaky or sure? People seek feverishly for security. That's why they get insurance. Even fire insurance, afterlife fire insurance. Oh, God, I'm liking that. Economic recessions, plant closures, layoffs, and falling stocks remind us that our material financial world is very shaky. Yeah, I found out the hard way. <laughs> I haven't been laid off yet, <laughs> but uh, I am down to three days a week, and I don't think that's going to last. There's no work. I work in a hotel. It's a ghost town. <sighs> they don't even, they closed the kitchen, they closed everything. Good times. At least I feel appreciated when I'm there, because I fix stuff for a living, and they always need me. <laughs> this makes security elusive and we put forth effort to avoid financial disaster financial losses will affect us only as long as we live that's all oh good so once you're dead you're off the hook True, even a tax man can't come after you. Just your family. Financial, uh, oh, as long as we live. Financial security, as well, will last no longer. Our souls, however, are eternal and invisible. It should be our priority to make certain we are not hellbound. But on the road to heaven, <laughs> that our salvation is sure. Because you could be having faith in the wrong religion, and that doesn't count. If anything, it's a strike against you. Bad luck on your part, I guess. Uh, the Bible tells us how we can have assurance of salvation. If you have doubts, 
about the condition of your soul, there is help for you. This will help. Ooh. Mm. What is meant by assurance of salvation? Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And that's not a capitalized H, but I'm thinking they're still talking about Sky Daddy. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. So, psh, all right, according to John 1, you might be fine. If you're pure, whatever that is. Like the snow, maybe. Assurance of salvation is a living hope that Jesus is coming again to take me to heaven. That I shall see him, capitalized this time, and be like him. Because of this hope, by God's grace, we keep ourselves pure and free from the wickedness of the world around us. <sighs> mm. This is pretty good. What is the basis of assurance of salvation? These are some probing questions. Probative. Uh, placebo. <laughs> uh, Jesus came to this world to save people from their sins. That they got before they were born, or as soon as they were born, and then some, you know, of course, later. The Bible tells us in Romans 3, 2, 3, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sin makes us guilty before God. If we receive Jesus as our Savior and follow Him, our guilt will be taken away. No matter what you've done, apparently. Just don't smart off about the Holy Ghost. That might get you in hot water. <sighs> The hope of eternal life is ours, according to John 3.16. Because somebody suffered terribly, so we could have a good time. Thank you. Didn't ask for it, but that was very sweet of you. We can be assured of our salvation if we believe the right things, I hope. These things have I written unto you that ye believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Repent! Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That's awesome, man. Confess. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay. Obey. Being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Oh. 
continue. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrines. Continue in them. For in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Uh. Oh, I think I'll take a break here.